Yeah, we're at home today. Getting to be winter time, folks. Definitely getting cooler. We were down in the 20s last night. Had frost this morning. Just outside here, taking the old Bailey girl out. I gotta finish getting ready and leaving this afternoon, Sunday afternoon. About 4.45, my 34 hour break will be up. Yeah, not really feel like going to work today on Sunday. At least it's not a really nice, I mean, it's a nice day, but it's cool and windy, so wouldn't have been no uh, model airplane flying today anyway, not for me. But uh, yeah, got to head up. I got the loaded trailer here at home. Got to head up to uh, Vermont, drop, and then I got uh, three more to do that I know of. So I'm going to deliver tonight, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Hopefully there'll be another one for Thursday or something, and uh, then I'll come home for a couple of days. Maybe we'll get a three-day weekend out of the deal. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But, uh, yeah, it's really, uh, really starting to look like winter. Cooling off. I mean, it's been a uh, probably a textbook fall been pretty warm been pretty dry and it's slowly slowly gotten cooler and cooler and cooler it's like no no drastic uh, weather sw swings you know what I mean like it wasn't 30 one day and then 60 the next day that kind of stuff so but we got to get going Finish up our preparation to leave and hit the road. I don't know. Is that coming out in the video? It's snowing snowing guys it is uh sunday night a little after 11 p.m we're here in uh waterbury vermont i just delivered my loaded trailer up in the dock and i'm picking up my empty here out of the staging lane and then we'll get on the road for the ferry it's like 36 degrees it's been uh mixed precipitation so <sighs> I was thinking to myself tonight that I should have put my uh, slip-on Boggs boots in the truck, but I forgot. Because, you know, it is, what is it, October 27th, I think? I think that's today, October 27th. So we can be getting snow at any time now. Easily getting snow. And I'm going to need my boots soon. I got to get them in the truck. Yeah, so we're just doing the usual, getting things hooked up here. Looking the trailer over. Ah, come on. My, it was like, snowing a little bit, a little bit harder earlier. And my actual, my uh, adaptive cruise control and active assist braking. And it seems like something else too, can't remember. Shut off. Because there was a, a little layer of uh, slime of snow over the front of the radar unit. So, let's put this light on. Yeah. So, uh... Let's see, let's see if our kingpin's locked up good. Oh yeah, we're hooked in. And I always check the arm here. Make sure the arm is all the way in. Yeah, anytime that front radar unit gets stuff on it, it don't work. 
I'll show it to you here in a minute. Yeah, it gives you a distance to the vehicle in front of you. And when you have the active cruise control on, it uh, keeps the following distance correct. And then when you don't have cruise on, it, re it warns you when you're too close to somebody. It'll make a beeping sound and, sh and say, uh, on the screen it'll say, following distance. Something like that, I don't know. I don't know if I got that right. But it's something like that. Ah, I miss summer already, guys. I miss summer already. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Huh. It's not too bad. We should probably blow it out real quick. I think we have time. Oh, I forgot to put my lights on test, damn it. No, oh, wait. I can do that from here with my key if it's in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah, this key here, you can do, uh, you can put the light test on. There it goes, brake lights. Turn signals. How about up top? Brake lights. Turn signals. And then down this side, we got a marker light and we got a turn signal. All right, cool. I'll show you that radar unit. It's up here in the front, on the front bumper. And uh, yeah, it's right, right there. This square piece right here, that is the radar. And it had a thin layer of slime over it. Snow, kind of more like slime. It was very wet. I don't know why they don't have a heating element in there. Say like your headlights do. I think these do. I forget. Are these ones... I don't, I don't see any lines on them. I don't see any lines, but... Uh, yeah, they have like, you know, like the uh, defroster lines. I wonder why they don't have any uh, anything in there to keep the uh, snow and ice from forming on that. Probably because they don't want you using any of that stuff when the weather's bad. That could be... Uh, possibility all right we got to get uh, we got to get this thing cleaned out and get rolling so we don't miss the ferry what right now we're getting there at 11 23 looks like on the GPS up there looking up into the truck and uh, next ferry is 11 45 so we got time we're not in too bad a shape <laughs> yeah it's really starting to snow now Man, I don't like it. I don't like the snow. Though it's not really nothing tonight. The ground, the roads are still warm. We're still above freezing, so it's not gonna be a problem, but it's just a little reminder of things to come. Little reminder.
All right, guys, today is uh, Wednesday, October 30th. I'm here at the Fast Track Truck Stop in uh, Phoenix, New York, right along 481. Uh, yeah, getting ready to start my day. I got in here at, uh, I don't know, 5.30 this morning, something like that. And uh, it's a super, super warm fall day. 78 degrees right here right now. It's gonna be even a little warmer tomorrow, so. Might set a record tomorrow, they said. But anyway, uh, yeah, just waiting for my 10-hour uh, break to be up. And uh, head back up to Vermont, deliver this one, and then, uh, then I'm going home, I guess. I'm waiting to hear if the next load is ready, which doesn't deliver until Sunday. So, I don't know. We'll see if it's ready uh, by the time I close of business today, which is another hour and a half. If it's ready, I'm gonna go get it, take it home with me. So I'll be home tomorrow afternoon, evening. If not, I'm gonna head home right from my delivery up in Vermont, and that should put me home around three o'clock in the morning, tomorrow morning on Halloween. So, yeah. Anyway, what a difference, huh, from the, the, last, the last part of the video. It was snowing up there in Vermont. It snowed, uh, didn't really get real slick. Most of the snow was uh, on the grass. I was worried that the, t the temperature was supposed to drop into the 20s uh, sometime overnight and whatever moisture was around was going to freeze on the road because there is no salt out yet. Uh, once winter gets going and there's a lot of extra salt on the road, uh, it wouldn't be a problem, but right now if stuff freezes, it's not real good. And uh, this parking lot, I don't like this parking lot because uh, all these puddles. I can see, because there's a lot of dips in here too, and I can see where these rubber things have been scraping on those dips. Look at that. That's why you see a lot of these trucks with those rubber pieces, because this bottom part here, this bottom part here is just rubber up to here. You see a lot of these trucks with that part missing, like this truck is missing the one on the front supposed to hang down on the front there but there's nothing there I found out I need uh, it's like three pieces that hold the rubber piece on and the rubber piece and the hardware kit would cost about 721 it was noted which is reasonable I think uh, it was noted when I got the truck that that was missing and that they were gonna pay for it we'll see what happens if I can get them to pay the money for the parts I'll pay the labor for my mechanic to put them on. We'll see. I just have a feeling it'll get ripped off again in the winter when there's a lot of snow and stuff on the road. I don't know. Thinking about it. But uh, today it's just it's just gorgeous, man. The sun, the warmth, it's totally great. Love it. Love it, love it. So we got to get ready to leave. I'm going to bite to eat and uh, we head it out. Yeah, so they don't have any... Uh, showers at this truck stop <laughs> let me put some lights on i don't know how well this is going to work we'll, we'll see we got all the lights on in the back here put that one on too there's my pool got my computer thing in here this is my little dog pool <laughs> i got it on the table right now i have it with a clamp on the other side holding it so it won't fall off but i'm letting it dry out a bit I dried it out with a towel, but uh, I'd like to make sure it's totally dry so it don't get mildew and stuff. But that I put on the floor and I heat up my one gallon of water. That's what these one gallons of waters are for down here. I heat that up on my little Hot Logic, uh, what would you call it? It's a Hot Logic warming bag. Here, you guys seen it before. It's just a bag. And it has a little plate down in the bottom of it. This one is 110 volt. You can also get these in 12 volt. It's called a Hot Logic. And I just set, and I put my glass Pyrex in there on top of the hot plate, and then I set my gallon of water in there when I go to bed at night. And uh, that that thing only heats to 130. So yeah, the water's pretty warm overnight. But then I usually, when I first wake up, I take it out and I set it on the floor. The water. 
and it cools down enough to where it's just right. Nice hot water. I use that to wash up with. I use baby shampoo and uh, well, my hair and my body. Rinse it off, dry off. It's nice. When you don't have a shower, it's perfect. Anyway, I've had, uh, I put some spaghetti here in the mic that I brought from home. Let's see, there it is. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna have this uh, for uh, luncher. That's a, a combination of supper and lunch. And uh, then I'm gonna get going, be time to go. We'll see, we might be going right home from our delivery. We might be uh, coming back down to Fulton, picking up our next load that delivers Sunday night and uh, go home with it, be home tomorrow. Tomorrow early evening probably. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I got to message them now to make sure they let me know before they go home. All right, guys, we are right back here where we started the video at in Waterbury. And uh, it's quite a different story here right now. I have a, uh, I'm wearing this, I'm trying this. I've been using it a little bit, this Milwaukee face mask. When I'm uh, blowing out the trailer, I have the plastic shield that I put over my whole face. Uh, it actually works really good, keeping the dust out of my nose and mouth and eyes. Problem is, I can't see out of it. It fogs up. It fogs up too much, so... Uh, I've been using this. This works good. It just doesn't really protect my eyes. So... Not everything's, not everything's perfect, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. The other one is really good about keeping the dust out of all the uh, orifices on my face, <laughs> if you want to call it that. But, uh, can't see though, fog's over. 
So, we've been using this. I, I, I don't know. I may or may not get goggles. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, anyway, we made it up here. Quite a difference tonight. Where the first night we were up here, it was snowing. Now I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and it's uh, still 62 here. All right, so I got my uh, pre-trip done on the trailer. I just got to clean, clean it out, even though I'm not picking up until Saturday night. It is still uh, Wednesday evening. It's about 11.15 right now. Not in a great hurry. I'm going straight home because the load, next load I got to do is not going to be loaded till Friday afternoon. So I'm going to go straight home. I'll leave Saturday night, pick it up, and deliver it Sunday evening. So I'll get a little bit of a head start on the week. But anyway, so we'll get this cleaned out and uh, get on the road heading home. Uh, looks like it's going to get foggy tonight. Just the way the air feels and it's still warm, but I can see my breath a little bit. So got a lot of moisture in the air. So I probably should get moving before it gets super foggy. That went good. Trailer wasn't really dusty, so just had a lot of uh, wood chips in it from the pallets. All right, so we're gonna be on our way home now. I'm standing here. There's nobody around. There's no loads going out tonight. They're in the middle of uh, changing flavors here at the ice cream plant, but I'm smelling cigarette smoke. So I don't know where that's coming from. There might be somebody in the woods over here camping out or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah. If I can get this in here, it'll be good. There we go. Uh, Really not a lot of dust in this bag. I'm going to put it in my regular garbage and I'll get rid of it on the way home. Probably make one. One pit stop on the way home. We'll see. Anyway, guys. Whoops, that is off. <laughs> the light's on on the camera. The spotlight, it's awful bright. It's hard for me to see. But at least you can see me. Anyway, we'll end the video here. Uh, coming back out Saturday night. I could technically stay home till Sunday afternoon and still be up here fine. But I'll probably leave Saturday night just to make it easier on myself. So anyway, appreciating you guys riding along all the way to the end here. Thanks for... Uh, following along with me leave a uh, leave a like if you could and a comment if you could if you're not subscribed and you've been watching my videos you could help out the channel by uh, subscribing anyway that's gonna do it we'll see you on the next one everybody take care hope you have a good weekend <laughs>